All right, thanks for joining us today. My name is Maria Forrest, owner of Forrest Pilates Studio in Miami. And here today we have Cecilia and Charlene. We're going to do a workout for you on the Pilates ball. So we're both, we're going to start with our feet, maybe a little bit wider than hip distance, knees bent. And I want you to relax your shoulders. And first thing I want you to do is drop your tailbones because both of you are arching your back. Yes, yeah, so drop your tailbone, make sure you're in neutral. I want you to relax the shoulders and sit up nice and tall. And let's bring the arms out in front. So again, slide the shoulder blades down and reach out through the crown. As you exhale, you're going to take, first of all, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to basically curl the tailbone under using your abdominals and not your tush and curl under. Good. Inhale as you lengthen up again. Deep breath. Good. Exhale. Curl the tailbone under a little bit more. Good. Try not to lean back on this one. Inhale as you come up. Keep the ribs in. Ready? Exhale. Curl. Good. See how that was a little deeper? Good. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, curl. Good. So the more you can really curl the tailbone under and push out all the air, the deeper you're going to go into your deep muscles, your pelvic floor, your transverse abdominis, and all the lower, the, the muscles in front of the hip and the lower abs. So relax the shoulders. So try not to lean back. So it's really just the pelvis doing the movement. Exhaling all the air out. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, curl. Good. Let's do two more. And on that last one, I want you to hold it there. Ready? Curl the tailbone under without leaning back, without the bowing, just the pelvic bowl. Hold it there for at least two more breaths. Go a little bit deeper. Exhale all the air out and go a little deeper. And inhale as you come back up. All right, so now we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to go basically and roll onto the lower back. So you're going to basically curl the tailbone under and go a little bit more, put, put, you know, pubic bone up towards the ceiling. So let's bring the hands up, relax the shoulders. If this is an uncomfortable for, for position for some people, you can go ahead and do the genie arms, okay? So we're, take a deep breath in. Ready? Exhale. Curl the tailbone under. Go a little bit deeper, a little bit more. Good. Inhale as you come back up. Deep breath in. Ready? Exhale. Curl, curl, curl. Pubic bone up. Relax those shoulders. Good. Inhale as you come back up. So we're just going a little bit higher into the abs. So you can always put the feet a little bit wider to go to have a little bit more stability. The more air your ball has, the harder the exercises might get, because your foundation might be a little bit more wobbly, the less air, the easier it'll be. You'll have a little bit more stability. So try not to lean back so much. Last two. So it's really just pelvic bowl doing all the work. Keeping up. Yes, let your pelvis do all the work. Good. And now, take a deep breath. As you exhale, I want you to go all the way to the mid-back, your bra strap, if you're wearing a bra. Good. Inhale as you come back up. So you may need to put your feet forward a little bit more for this one if you need to. Ready? Exhale. Curl the tailbone under. Pull the belly button towards your spine. Really pull the tummy in and curl. Good. Last three. Ready? Two more. So curl under more, 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 more. Good. Last one. Nice. And roll it up. All right, so now we're just layering it. We're going a little deeper each time. And now we're going to go a little deeper. So the key for this next exercise is to really keep that pelvic bowl. If you do not keep the pelvic bowl, you're going to feel it in your lower back. So the key is basically curling the tailbone under, pubic bone up towards the ceiling, and using that pelvic bowl to help you stabilize. And so we're just going to do anywhere from 8 to 10 on this series. If you feel like you're losing your form, then just get back up, okay? It's better to get a good 8 ones in there than to go over and get some not so good form. So let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and put the hands behind the, the ba uh, back of the head just for support. So before you start, slide the shoulder blades down. Ready? T take a deep breath. And then exhale. Curl the tailbone under. Pull the belly button towards your spine. Keep the chin up. So all the way to the bra strap again, or the mid-back. So you're going to hold it there, but you've got to curl that tailbone under and keep that tailbone curled. And then exhale and lift the chest up. Good. In, in all the way. Ready? Deep breath. Exhale. Curl. So you're going to hold it there now. So just bow. Ready? Exhale. Just bow. Exhale up. That's it. Inhale down. 
Good. Exhale up. So don't, le don't lose your curl, Charlene. Inhale. Right there. So don't go lower than that because then you lose your curl. You got it. Good. Last four. Where do you guys feel this? <laughs> Two. Good. Last one. Hold it there. Hold it there. And then roll it up. Good. Nice job. Excellent. Very nice. Catch your breath. <coughs> so the next series we're going to do is we're going to put the hands inside the knees and your hands are going to be nice and long. So what I want you to do is put your feet a little bit closer together. And what I want you to do is basically while you're going down the legs, I want you to really press the back of the arms into the legs and I want you to press the legs into the arms. So this is like roll, right? So you're going to go ahead and put the hands in between. Put your knees a little bit closer and your feet. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Reach out through the crown as you exhale. You're going to basically you're going to do head float. Reach out through the crown. Do a little cervical nod and then you're going to go into your bow. So you're rolling down. So your body's not moving. You're just so it looks like this, guys. So it's inhale. You're reaching out through the crown, cervical nod, bow. So you're rolling down one vertebrae at a time, pressing the hands in, into the leg and pressing the legs into the hand. There you go. Drop your head all the way. Pull the belly button in, the ribs in, relax those shoulders all the way. Good. Take a deep breath. When you get to the bottom, take a deep breath. As you exhale, you're going to roll it up. Last thing that comes up is the head. Good. So now follow my cue. Ready? Deep breath in. Reach out through that crown. Exhale, cervical knot, and bow. Press, press, press. The hands into the legs. The legs into the hands. Feel that connection all the way up in the back. Relax those shoulders all the way down. When you're down there, take a deep breath. Ready? Exhale. Roll it up. Where do you guys feel this? Abs. On your abs. Where else? Abs. Yes, ready? Reach out through the crown, slide the shoulder blades down. So again, go a little deeper by reaching out through the crown more, little cervical nod, and go into that bow, slide those shoulder blades down, and press, press, press. Drop the head all the way, nose towards the belly button. Don't push the ball, you're really just bowing. Go all the way down. Good. When you're there, take a deep breath. Ready? Exhale, lift up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. So where else are you guys feeling this? Arms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Triceps. Yes. Excellent. One more. Reach out through the crown. So you're going a little deeper now that you've got the movement. Just relax those shoulders. Feel that connection in your upper back. All the way. Drop the nose towards the belly button. Reach. Lengthen. I want you to grab your ankles. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, I want you to straighten those legs. So push with those heels. Straighten the legs. Give yourself a nice stretch. Good. Take a deep breath. Ready? Exhale. Bend the knees and then put your hands in the inside again. Press into the legs and slowly roll it up. Press the hands into the... Yes. All the way up. And rest. Nice job. So uh, for the series for the pulses that we did originally, you can do them for the obliques. <coughs> Usually some clients may need to put their feet against the wall. We're going to try it out here and see since we have the mats should not slip, okay? But if you can always put your feet against the wall to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to tilt a little bit to the right. So you're basically doing the series that we did, right? But with the hips a little bit more towards the right. So go ahead and you're going to turn your knees. Yep. That's it. And make sure you've got a nice grip on the floor. You're going to curl the tailbone under. So go into that bow. Curl the tailbone under. Go more, more, more. Hold it there and here. Got you, I got you. Ready? So when you're here and you feel like you're, you're stable, you're going to go ahead and do your pulses there. Yes, yeah, so you might need... So exhale as you come up. So it's inhale down, exhale up. So basically if you turn the knees to the right and you exhale... Good. Last, do at least three or four more and then we'll switch sides. Try not to move the ball, just your body. Good. Try not to go so high. So it's just right there, right there where you feel it. You're going to pulse there. Now you're going to switch sides. So go ahead and inhale. Bring it all the way up. So let's tilt the knees now to the left. So maybe even putting it on the floor makes it less, yeah. Ready? Exhale up. So can you bring both legs together? Yeah.
Good. So now hold it there without moving the ball. You're going to exhale up just a little bit. One. Good. That's it. Feel the difference. Two. Three. Good. Four. Try not to go so high, Charlene. Just there. And up. That's it. And up. You got it. You're feeling it, right? Good. Last three. <laughs> Last two. Last one, and roll it up. Nice job. All right, so you notice that there's a little bit of instability here, so you may need to use the ball, but this is a nice workout. It goes really deep into your obliques. Um, but you do want to safety, so you do want to go ahead and, and feel safe when you're doing this exercise, so use the wall if you need to. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to stand up, and we're going to go ahead and lie on the mat onto your back. So you're going to put your head in this direction, and you're going to lay onto your back. So we're going to go ahead and yeah, you can keep the ball there and you're going to extend the legs all the way. So you're going to make sure that your calves are on there so you don't hyperextend yet. So what I want you to do is we're going to do bridging. So you're going to slide the shoulder blades down the back and you're going to take a deep breath. Make sure your tailbone's on the mat when you start just so you can program that all the way down. Bring the tailbone all the way down a little bit more. Right there. So you're going to take a deep breath in. Ready, exhale, you're going to curl the tailbone under, using your abdominals, slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time, straighten those legs, activate those legs. Good, when you're up there, take a deep breath. Ready, exhale, so before the hips go down, you're going to soften the breastbone, roll it down, one vertebrae at a time. Good, all the way down, tailbone all the way down. Good, deep breath, relax the shoulders, press the sh shoulders, hips into the mat, and then exhale, roll it up. Good. When you're up there, slide the shoulder blades down. As you exhale, soften the breastbone and roll it down. Good. All the way down. Take another deep breath. Ready? Exhale. You're going to roll it up. And you're going to hold it up here on this one. So stabilize. So what I want you to do is bring that right knee into the chest. That's good. Stabilize that ball. Good. Put it down. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Roll it down. One vertebrae at a time. Nice. All the way down with that tailbone. Deep breath. Ready? Exhale. Roll it up again. One vertebrae lengthening through the spine, activating those legs. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Bring that knee to the chest. Good. And place it back on the ball. Deep breath. Exhale. Slowly roll it down. Good. One more set. Ready? Deep breath. And exhale. Exhale as you roll up. Try to stabilize that ball a little bit more. Lengthen through the legs. Activate. Deep breath. Exhale. Bring that right knee into the chest. Good. Exhale. Lengthen out. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Roll it down. Last one on the left. And then we're going to stay up. Ready? Deep breath. Exhale. Roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. When you're up there, deep breath. Exhale. Bring that knee in. Good. Bring that leg there. So stay up. Take a deep breath. See if you can bring both legs in. Bring the knees in. That's one. Good. Exhale. Keep those hips up. Tummy in. Engage your abs. Press the back of the arms gently. Good. Last three or four. Starting to burn already, right? Hang in there. Good. Last one. Inhale deep, exhale as you lengthen out, take a deep breath in, then slowly roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Good, nice job. Catch your breath. So you're going to stay there and just catch your breath. So for the next one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do leg circles. So you're going to go ahead and bring the right leg up to 90. Okay, before we start, make sure that tailbone is pressed against the mat because it's very common for us to curl under, especially when a leg comes up if our hamstrings are tight. So reach out through that leg. So both legs, before we start, activate the top leg and activate the bottom leg. What that means is engage, lengthen, and activate the legs. I want you to press down on that bottom leg into that ball and activate your hamstrings. Ready? Tiny little circles, the size of a quarter. So you got paint brushes at the end of the toes. You're reaching up towards the ceiling with those toes, pressing down and lengthening through that bottom leg, lengthening through the arms, and lengthening through the spine, engaging your abdominals, imprinting everything into the mat. And now the other direction. Nice and slow. Make the movement flow with your breath. Inhale as you pull. Exhale as you push. So a little bit slower. Nice. 
Nice. And rest. We're going to bring that leg down. We're going to press that right leg into the mat, into the ball. You're going to take a deep breath, bring that other leg up, relax the shoulders, imprint that tailbone, hips, shoulders, and then slowly, little circles, reaching up through both legs, activating both legs. Make sure you don't pass 90. 90 is right there. It's a difference. You'll feel it a little different in the hips. And then the other direction. And rest. We're going to go ahead and bring that leg down. Take a deep breath. Where did you guys feel those? <coughs> the hips, the thighs, and the abs. Good. Excellent. All right. So we're going to go ahead and We'll do one more, and we're going to go ahead and bring that right leg up, which is going to go a little deeper. So we're going to go a little bigger in the, in the circles. So you can do the full circle. In some schools, they'll teach, you know, shoulder, shoulder, cross the body down to the toe. Since the leg is up, you're not going to go so low. So you're not going to go as deep in the abs, but you're still going to get a nice connection with your obliques and the abs on that side. So it's shoulder, shoulder, and across the body down to the toe. Good. So it's more shoulder, shoulder, cross the body. So cross. There you go. So stabilize those hips. Make sure those hips are nice and firm. Make sure that tailbone is still pressed against the mat. Make sure that top leg is lengthened and activated and pressed against the ball. Good. Last one. And now switch directions. Inhale, shoulder, shoulder, cross the body down to the toe. Nice and slow. So more control and, more, and try to go a little bit slower. Good. Stabilize that ball. Don't let the ball move. Good. Last two. And rest. Bring the ball, bring the leg to the ball and catch your breath. That was just a little bit deeper. You can bring the ball in. Give yourself a nice stretch. All right, let's go ahead and lengthen. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and bring that left leg up straight up. Before you start, please activate those legs. Lengthen through those toes. Bottom leg as well. Press that bottom leg into the ball. And tiny, sorry, medium-sized circle. So it's shoulder, shoulder, cross the body down to the toe. So a little bit more control. Maybe not so big. There you go. Keeping those hips nice and, con and um, neutral. Keeping that tailbone pressed down. Stabilizing that bottom leg and the hips and other direction. So let's pull the ribs in a little bit more, reach through the fingertips a little bit more, lengthen through both legs a little bit more, go a little deeper into that breath, in through the nose, filling up the lungs. Last two. And rest. Nice job. Go ahead and bring that leg down. Bring both knees in and catch your breath. So we'll stretch it out just a little bit more. So go ahead and extend the legs. Let's put the right ankle on the left knee and then bring that left leg, bring the ball towards you. Give yourself a nice stretch. Grab the back of that left thigh, pull it in and very gently the right knee you're going to um, lengthen away from you as you pull that left thigh towards you. Give yourself a nice deep stretch. And then on the exhale, pull it in a little bit deeper and open that knee on the right a little bit away, more away from you. All right, let's go ahead and extend that bottom leg. We're going to switch the legs. Right leg on the, on the ball, left knee on the right, sorry, left ankle on the right knee. Bring in that right thigh, pull it in. Gently open that left knee out away from you. Relax the shoulders, reach out through the crown, and just focus on the breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, you're going to go ahead and extend both. So what I want you to do is I want you to now roll onto your side. You're going to go ahead and take your feet off the balls, and you're going to roll onto your side and push yourselves up. So use your hands to push yourselves up. And we're going to lay our tummies on this ball. So I want you to scoot the ball back a little bit because I want your hands to be on the mat. So I want you to, yes, to reach over and I want you to put your hands on the floor. So when we're laying on the mat, on our tummies or on our sides, we basically it's 
Like pelvic bowl, it's basically, we call it house for a mouse, which is basically lifting the belly button and the hips off. So you're basically curling a little bit, but it's not really more, it's more of a pulling the belly button more up towards your spine. So even on the ball, even though it does not lift, you're still doing that. So what I want you to do, so you're gonna bring your, ha your shoulders above your hands. So bring your hands either closer to you and I want you to lengthen there. But I want your knees on the mat. Yep, right there. So bring your hands closer, right there and lift up. So I want you to slide the shoulder blades down. So tummy in. So do that, um, basically lifting the belly button up. I want you to go ahead and do that little house for a mouse. Lift your head up just a little bit so it's in line with your spine. So now, finding that connection in your core before you lift your arms up. So find that when you're ready. You're going to lift your arms up like so. Lift your arms up. Yep. So I want you to again, press the pubic bone and the quads into that bowel. As you exhale, you're going to lift up. Lift the chest up. Good. One. Okay, so you lost your pelvic cork. Yep, so ready? Exhale. Different, right? Good, so inhale. Keep that curl. Keep pressing the pubic bone. Keeping those hips nice and neutral. So you don't hyperextend the back. Instead, you're using your abdominals. So relax those shoulders just a little bit more. So maybe scoot a little bit further back, Charlene, on the ball. Bring your knees a little bit closer so you have more stability. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna let go. You got it? Good, last two. So you gotta keep that pelvic bowl. So you gotta press the pubic bone in the quads, lift that belly button up. Good, keep that connection now. On the last one, we're gonna hold it up. Ready? And lift, hold it here, hold it here, hold it. Last five, breathe, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, that was nice. So that's the key. If you don't hold the pelvic bowl or um, house for a mouse, what will happen is that you'll hyperextend and feel it in the back. So she was able to stabilize and then she was able to work more abs as well as her upper back. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to just take this up a notch, go a little bit deeper into the upper back. You got to make sure you got to keep that pelvic bowl. So when you're ready, you're going to find that pelvic bowl, lift the belly button away from the ball, pull, press the pubic bone in the quad. You're going to go ahead and lift the arms. Ready? As you exhale, you're going to lift and bring those elbows behind you towards the ceiling. And then you're going to lengthen the arms out ahead. Good. And then exhale up. Good. So more pelvic bowl. Maybe not so high with the chest. Good. Yes. Much deeper, right? So tummy in. Curl under a little bit more, Charlene. Good. Exhale. Maybe not go so high. So you have more control of that pelvic bowl. So the... Range of motion really doesn't mean much. It's really this, how far you can go without compromising neutral hips, or neutral pelvis, neutral back, and the lower back. Good. Last three. Hang in there. I know it's starting to burn. Three. Two. Good. Last one. Hold it here, hold it here, and rest. Good job. So go ahead and just really curl the tailbone under. Keep your hands on the mat and really give yourself a little, like a cat pose, an arch. And go ahead and lay your lower back and your upper back and give yourself a nice stretch. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and turn on to our side. So you're going to face the equipment here and you're going to go on to your, you're going to put the ball basically on this side. All right, so you're going to put the hand underneath the shoulder. And you're going to lengthen both legs out. So this, this series, you can put both legs out, okay, and make it a little bit harder. Or you can bend the bottom knee. If you bend the bottom knee, Charlene will demonstrate with the bottom knee bent. So you're going to put your knee on the mat. That's it. Yep. And you're going to go ahead. So another um, way to make it easier or harder, you can put the hand on the ball. Makes it a little easier. You can put the hand behind the head a little bit harder. Or you can put the hand up all the way, and that'll make it even harder, okay? So you find your level. It's all about quality and form. That's the key, okay? So you find your position where you're going to hold the best form. So we're going to go ahead and do leg series here, okay? So again, house for a mouse. I want you to lift that rib off of the mat, off the ball, sorry. Even though it doesn't really lift, it's that connection that you have when you're doing it on the mat. All right, so you're going to go ahead and lift that right leg up and down. Good. So I want you to point up, lengthen, and flex down. Good. So use your hand on the mat. That's fine. And then I want you to look forward and reach out through the crown so your head, good, is in line with your spine. So notice the hips. You're gonna, hips are going to try to find a way to compensate. So make sure both hips are facing forward. So don't go too high because if you do, the hips will open. 
Good. Inhale up. Point all the way up. And then flex all the way down. Good. Last two or three. And then we'll add a different series. So remember, you can always bend the bottom knee to make it a little easier in the position of the hand as well. We'll make it a little easier depending on... So make sure you're looking forward, straight ahead. Last one and then rest. So catch your breath here. So the next exercise, we're going to go forward with the heel, pulse, pulse, back with the toe, pulse, pulse. So catch your breath, take another deep breath in. When you're ready, you're going to go ahead and find your form. You're going to go forward with the heel, pulse, pulse, without moving the ball. Exhale back, pulse, pulse. So straighten that leg. Nice and straight. Try not to bend at the knee. And try not to move the ball. Ready? So keep that knee straight. Yeah, so you may not go as far back, and that's okay. It's really how far can you go keeping that leg straight. Good. Last two. So make sure your shoulders and your hips are facing forward. Head is looking forward so you're nice and in line with your spine. And last one. And rest. Good job. So now you're going to go ahead and go onto your knees. And you're going to go ahead and sit up and go onto the other side. So you can position the bottom leg how you want it. If you want it straight out, it's fine. Or you can bend the knee to make it a little easier. So make sure your shoulders above your hands so you have good support. So relax the shoulders before you start. Create that little house for a mouse. Lift that bottom rib up away from the ball. Even though it really does not come off. It's that lifting where you can really feel that connection in your, in your abs. So lengthen through that top leg. When you're ready, you're going to point going up and then flex going down. So really it's about keeping, keeping this, uh, more stability in the hips and in the ball. So range of motion would really doesn't matter. It's how far can I go without losing neutral hips. So both hips facing the same direction. Make sure you don't go too high where the top hip opens or tilts back. So engage your abs a little bit more. Lengthen a little bit more through those legs. I want to see more active legs. Lengthen. So you're going to point, point, point as you go up and then slowly flex, flex, flex as you go down. Last two. And then rest, catch your breath. And now we're going to go forward with the heel, back with the toe for pulsing of two. Ready? So you're going to go pulse, pulse, and reach back, pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, so relax the shoulders. Try not to lean forward. There you go. Nice adjustment. So maybe smaller motion so you don't lean forward. You see how you're leaning forward a little bit? Right there. I got you. So you're going to go forward, forward. Back, back. So maybe not go so far back so you don't lean forward with the upper part of the body to compensate. Last two. Keep the boss nice and still. And rest. Catch your breath. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and come back up. I'm going to go onto your knees and you're going to face the other side. All right, just like that, you're going to put the ball on the left side. And we're going to go ahead and, it's like the mermaid. So what we're going to do, yep, we're going to go ahead and bring that. I want you to make sure that your hips don't move to the right. You want to keep your hips right above your knees. Okay, I want you to relax the shoulders and engage your abs. You're going to press down with that left arm, that left, left hand into the ball. And you're going to bring that right hand over the head and lengthen over. And so you're going to reach and you're going to press here and lengthen away. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen away. Good. Inhale up. Deep breath. Exhale. Press with that hand as hard as you can and lengthen away. So you can feel it in both sides. Good. And then notice whether you're bending at the neck. Make sure your head is just floating above your shoulders. Both shoulders and hips are facing forward. And it's more of when you come up, I want you to inhale and lengthen through the spine a little bit more. Good. Exhale. So it's up and over as if you have something closer towards your left side of the body. So you're going up and over another ball, okay? But you're pressing the hand and lengthening. Lengthen through that left hand a little bit more. More, more, more. Lengthen. Straighten out that left hand. The arm, good. Inhale up. Relax the shoulders a little bit. Good. Pull the tummies in. Make sure that your ribs are in as well, that you're not pulling the ribs out. Last two.
Good, last one, deep breath, pull the ribs in, tailbone down, exhale, lengthen, press the hand and lengthen with that left hand so you can feel it on both sides. Good, inhale up. So now we're gonna do is sort of like a hug a tree. You're gonna take a deep breath, arm is out here, you're gonna exhale and you're gonna bring your arm under and reach. Turn the shoulder in, good. Inhale as you come back up, deep breath. I want you to press the hand on that ball and really lengthen it away from you, control. Try not to move the hips, try to keep the hips in line, right above those knees. Ready, exhale. When you do that, you're gonna feel a little bit more on the obliques, a little bit more control. It's gonna go a little deeper into your abs. So engage your abs, relax those shoulders, exhale, and hug your tree. Good, last two. Good, relax that left shoulder. And come up. So now on this last series, we're gonna go a little bit deeper since we warmed up for it. We're gonna go ahead and do all the way over and put both hands on the ball. Ready, so take a deep breath, tummies in, ribs in, exhale, bring the arm over, bring both hands, tummy in, drop the head. You're gonna lengthen out through the arms and then arms are straight and then you're gonna bring the ball up towards you so you're gonna lift the chest in between the arms. That's one. Good, deep breath and exhale, lengthen, deep breath, exhale, other hand, good. So you're gonna hold it there, hold it there, both hands and then lift, stay there, both hands on there, good. And exhale as you lengthen. Nice. Relax those shoulders. So both hands stay on there, Charlene. And then exhale. That's it. Relax those shoulders. Keep the hips forward. Inhale right there. And then exhale, lengthen. Good. So this is the deepest one. You might feel a little deeper stretch on that left, on that right side. Last one. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Relax those shoulders. Good. Right hand, inhale as you bring over your head. Back to the right side, excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and turn around, face the other direction, or you can go ahead and bring the ball to the right side. <laughs> All right, catch your breath. So find your form, your form being, you can go a little wider if you feel a little wobbly. If you're, if you're prenatal and you're pregnant, you might wanna go a little wider with the knees, it's up to you. But if not, hip width. Okay, so hand on the ball, Slide that shoulder blade down, press the hand into the ball, tummy in, make sure the ribs are in. As you exhale, you're gonna press that hand even more and lengthen, push that ball away from you. Good, inhale as you come back up, deep breath, relax those shoulders, ready, exhale. Good, nice, inhale, so reach out through that crown a little bit more. See if you can lengthen through the spine a little bit more, inhale up and over. Inhale up, and exhale. Nice, last three. Slide this shoulder blade right there. Good, last one. So let's go ahead and lengthen. Go ahead and finish the set. You're gonna go ahead and bring the arm there. And rest. So now we're gonna go ahead and hug that tree. So you're gonna go in and under that right arm so without pushing the hips back or to the side. Keeping those hips right above those knees as much as you can to help you stabilize those hips. Good. Much nicer. Keep those shoulder blades down. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Really try to bring that left shoulder underneath as well, as long as you can keep it slid down the back. So you're not bringing that shoulder up to the ear. Nice, do at least three more. Last one. And come back up, take a deep breath. And now we're gonna take another deep breath. I want you to make sure that the ribs are in so you're engaging your upper abs, lower abs. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, you're gonna bring that left arm over and put both hands, are, both hands uh, are on the ball. You're gonna exhale, lift the chest up, and then exhale as you lengthen. So inhale, lift the chest up, good, tummy in. Exhale, lengthen. Arms are always straight. Nice and straight arms, especially when you're coming up. Good, exhale.
Good, so I'm gonna hold this hip back and go a little bit further, nice. Good, inhale. Good, last two or three. Relax those shoulders, keep those hips in alignment and rest, nice job. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, let's go ahead and put the ball on the other side. You're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna put the back of your legs on the ball. So just for the last maybe two to five minutes, if you can just take the time to just feel all that energy that's moving around in your body and just to connect with that because during the day most of the time we're in our heads and we're not in our body so this will help you just to connect and listen to what's going on especially after you've moved all this energy around in your body so what I want you to do is put your palms up close your eyes if you feel safe and just breathe so I want you to just focus on the breath in through the nose out through the mouth And if your mind starts to chatter, let it chatter. Just don't participate, just observe like you're at a movie theater. You're just watching the screen, observing the thoughts as they come and as they go. So just focus on the breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And just feel all that energy moving around in the body. And if you feel your mind wandering, just bring your attention back to your breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And just be conscious of the breath. <coughs> so I want to thank you for joining us today. See you next time. <laughs>